Talk about getting creative. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movie kills with no weapons. For this list, we'll be looking at various movie kills that were performed without traditional weapons like guns, knives, swords, and explosives. Let's get after it. Number 10, Thanos Strangles Loki, Avengers Infinity War. And now it's here. Or should I say, I am. Talk about a stellar introduction. Infinity War opens with a literal bang as Thanos defeats Thor and the Hulk in a snap. Most shocking of all, he chokes the life out of Loki, who had been among the MCU's most formidable foes since Phase 1. In a moment of redemption, Loki demonstrates his bravery and loyalty to his brother, but Thanos sees through his deception. When Loki states that Thanos will never be a god, the Mad Titan squishes the god of mischief's neck with his massive hand. It establishes the insane power of Thanos, and it brilliantly sets up the character, the story, and the stakes of Infinity War. Number 9. Dorothy Douses the Witch, The Wizard of Oz. Here, Scarecrow! Wanna play ball? Despite being unintentional and despite the Wicked Witch of the West deserving her comeuppance, Dorothy Gale has blood on her hands. Let that sink in for a second. For some convenient reason, the Wicked Witch is fatally weak against water. And for some convenient reason, she had an easily accessible bucket of H2O lying around her fortress. Ah! You cursed brat! Look what you've done! This resulted in her being splashed with water by Dorothy, which in turn resulted in her grisly melting. You wouldn't think a simple splash of water could be powerful, but in the case of The Wizard of Oz, it's literally a matter of life and death. Number 8. Garage Door. Scream. Is that you, Randy? Screen satirized and paid homage to the popular slashers of the 80s, and as such, many of its deaths result from brutal stabbings. And then there's the death of Tatum Riley. After her skirmish with Ghostface, Tatum attempts to escape the garage via the doggy door. Unfortunately, this door proves too small for her frame, and Ghostface has the brilliant idea of raising the garage door with Tatum still stuck inside. Her neck is crushed upon reaching the top, bringing an end to one of Scream's sassiest and most memorable characters. <laughs> Number 7. Use the Stairs, Die Hard. I promise I won't hurt you. Despite Die Hard containing many a gunshot and explosion, John McClane's first kill comes via a simple broken neck. John gets the jump on henchman Tony after setting off the fire alarm, and the two get into a brief skirmish. There are rules for policemen. Yeah. So my captain keeps telling me. It ends when they barrel through a door and fall down a small flight of stairs, which results in Tony breaking his neck. This nicely showcases John's penchant for adapting to his situation and creatively using whatever is at his disposal to dispatch his enemies, even if whatever he has is a simple set of stairs. Number 6. Throwing the Book, John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. Looking a little run down there, John. And speaking of men named John who use whatever is at their disposal, let's talk about John Wick. Wick is an insanely creative and adaptable man, and in this case, he uses nothing but a book to dispatch a huge assassin named Ernest. The two engage in a brutal fight in the New York Public Library, and John uses a thick book to break Ernest's jaw and neck. It's really brutal stuff, and it once again establishes the ingenuity, intelligence, and utter badassery of the titular protagonist. And Tarasov thought using a pencil was cool. Number 5. Telekinesis. Carrie. The climax of Carrie is deliciously dark, and it remains just as viscerally impactful today as it was in 1976. Once she is doused with pig's blood at the prom, Carrie White goes absolutely ballistic and decides to punish everyone in the school with her mind. <laughs> Carrie has dangerous telekinetic abilities, which she uses to crush and electrocute people with a water hose. 
She also locks the gym doors to ensure everyone inside is burned alive. It's truly depraved stuff and the screeching music, ominous red light, and Sissy Spacek's nightmare-inducing glares help make it one of the most terrifying sequences in movie history. Number 4. An Explosive Touch. X-Men First Class. Now you let me walk out of here with my money, or I will pull this pin and we all die. The primary villain of X-Men First Class is Sebastian Shaw, a former Nazi scientist who has the ability to absorb and redirect kinetic energy. When Colonel Hendry meets with Shaw aboard his Florida yacht, Hendry pulls a grenade on Shaw and his henchmen in a failed bargaining attempt. Shaw calls his bluff, detonates the grenade himself, and absorbs its explosive energy. He then uses a single touch to transfer the grenade's energy into his unwanted guest, effectively blowing him up. He destroys Hendry with his fingers and some leftover grenade energy, of course, making Shaw one of the coolest and deadliest X-Men villains. Number 3. Making a Pencil Disappear – The Dark Knight Sorry, John Wick, but as cool as your pencil trick was, we have to give this spot to the Joker. Ooh, he, ha, ha, ha. I thought my jokes were bad. His came first, and besides, it was way more threatening, violent, and character-defining. The Joker interrupts a meeting of mob bosses and makes his presence known by shoving a pencil through the guard's face. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. It's not graphic enough to warrant an R rating, but it made us wince regardless. Joker's so-called magic trick was instantly iconic, and it helped establish Heath Ledger's Joker as one of the greatest villains in comic book movie history. Maybe even one of the greatest movie villains, period. It's... it's gone. Number 2. Force Choke. Star Wars Episode 5. The Empire Strikes Back. That's it. The Rebels are there. While we saw Darth Vader utilize the Force Choke in the first Star Wars film, Grand Moff Tarkin was around to keep him in check. Vader holds nothing back in The Empire Strikes Back when Kendall Ozzel makes a costly and fatal tactical mistake during the Battle of Hoth. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Rather than punish Ozzel for his blunder, Vader terminates the dude via Force Choke. Not only that, he does it through a viewing screen. Meanwhile, Piet is forced to listen to Vader and respectfully obey his commands while Ozzel is literally choking to death beside him. No one said working for Darth Vader was easy, but it's a living. And until it isn't. You aren't the man now, Admiral Piet. I can all Vader. If your movie's creative enough, who needs weapons to make a kill? Here are a few honorable mentions. The Cable Guys. Ghost Ship. Eat your carrots. Shoot them up. You son of a bitch! Face smash. Jason X. No! No! Yummy steak. Law abiding citizen. What about some steak? You like steak? Mmm. Steak. Steak. Big piece for you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Exploding Heart Technique – Kill Bill Volume 2 And there are consequences to breaking the heart of a murdering bastard. We have to admit, this is not how we expected the Kill Bill story to end. Rather than ending on an epic sword clash, the movie climaxes with the bride utilizing the five-point palm exploding heart technique. This is something that Pai Mei taught the bride back in training, and it allows the user to blow up the heart of their opponent. The bride utilizes this fatal technique on Bill, effectively breaking his heart. How poetic. It allows a story to end on a somber, personal, and surprisingly poignant note, and it allows Bill's death to be far more dramatic than we were anticipating. It's a great scene with just the right amount of Tarantino kookiness. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.